Hey everyone, this is Claudia and today I'm making you a video with all the updates about the California COVID-19 relief um, grant program. I know many of you guys may be frustrated because your password may not be working, um, you are not able to upload the documents, and I know maybe you're calling and the lines are busy. So today I'm going to try to give you the latest updates. Today is Saturday. I want to guide you to the right direction and hopefully my video is going to answer some of your questions and I will help you this process. So if this is your first time hearing about the grant that is coming for small business owners, here I have a video with more information about this grant. If you already know about this grant and you want to apply, I have another video that is going to guide you step by step uh, how to apply. And that one has a lot of details. It's very long. I do suggest you to watch the videos completely so you have a better understanding and you will not have a problem when you're applying. That way you don't get stuck in the process. To let you know right now, the system is working properly. So if you go, it shouldn't take you that long to do the application. It should take you about 30 minutes to make the first part. And once you get your email with the password, if you get it right away, it should take you about 10, 10 minutes to upload the documents. It's not as hard as it looks, but please, um, I recommend you to watch my video so that way you don't get stuck in the process. And if you have any questions, um, it, my video should help you. Those of you who need assistance in uploading PDF documents, I have another video that could help you turn your documents in PDF. Please know that I will be more than happy and I'm checking off in my YouTube messages and I will respond to you as fast as I can. If you're new to my channel, I would like to invite you to subscribe to and support my channel as well as my goal is to make videos that are helpful for our community and others. And for those of you who already subscribed to my channel, I would like to say thank you. Thank you for supporting me and also watching my videos. Now let me take you to my screen. First, I want to respond to your question about um, the pending document ad lock. I know many of you guys may have seen that um, your portals, after you upload all your documents, you might have seen this pending upload. And it is okay. I want to show you that I received from, from them this morning from California Relief, the grant program. And this one, it says, thank you for applying for the grant, which I already applied. And you're going to receive this letter. You don't receive this right away. I finished my uploads. I think I finished my uploads on Wednesday when they reopened on the 6th. And I barely got this letter. So just want to show you because if you may be uploading your documents and you are um, still concerned, that you didn't receive anything yet, it takes few days. For some of you uh, that contact me today, uh, you were thinking that maybe you're still missing documents, but this one is a general um, email showing you that if you haven't completed the documents to, to, to submit your documents, but they're not actually telling you that you are missing these documents. This is a general letter. And this a general letter is also to update. So it says here, thank you for applying to the California Relief Grant. Please review the information below to complete your application. I already complete my application, but I still got this letter. And it says to log in into the application by clicking. Confirm your application is complete. And load the required three documents, which is the ID, the return taxes. Once confirmed, no further action are required until the application selection has been made, which is going to begin in um, January 15. So on January 15 is when they're going to be they're going to start selecting. And remember, this application is not first come first serve. Of course, you want to apply ahead of time, but don't over the stress about doing everything fast make sure you do it correctly example you know of what they send in in the email so they're not showing your in your application um the applications need to be complete 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 and if it's not uh, applicable then you put a not applicable so if it shows the bank information it's okay if it shows pending if you see my videos, you'll see that I upload the bank information because I apply on the 30th 
on December 30th, there was no problems or issues with the uploading at that time. So I upload my bank information. After the 31st, they disabled the um, system until further notice, which was January 6th. And after January 6th, the system was working properly. Now, um, in here it says that after you complete these uh, requirements, three requirements upload, pending documents unload, and it's saying that if it shows pending documents upload, like in here, it is okay. And it's bold, blue letters, it is okay. Banking information is only necessary for those applicants selected to move forward. So in my video, and some people who already upload the information before the system um, disabled, it's okay too. I'm okay with my information being there. Just that's why I could get it faster, but don't worry about it. If you didn't put your information, you don't need to put your information at this time because it says that it's only, it's only necessary for those applicants selected to move forward. So here is the grant application. You have a number here, they put a sample of a number. Save this number, take a picture of this because this is your application um, number. And then in here, it shows pending download, um, document unlock, it's okay. This is very important because a lot of people were asking that and they were concerned that they finished the whole process and it still shows, and it still is showing pending. It's supposed to show like that, so it's okay. And I'm showing you right now the letter I received from them. This letter comes from the California Relief Grant Program. So it's confirming, showing that it's okay for you to have the pending document as long as you have complete this area. So once you have complete, 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 and I'll show you mine, then it's okay. I suggest you to take a picture, a screenshot of that showing that you complete all areas just for you to be sure. And you have your proof there. Your application is being reviewed. And then if you're unable to log in, please reset your password by going to the portal here. And it's showing you um, an option for you to reset your password. Um, if, and this is something very important I wanna tell you. I already have my password. I didn't have any issues whatsoever. I didn't receive a letter saying that the password was gonna be reset. So everyone's password was reset. So if your password that you were working on before um, is not working, it's because they reset another password. And this is um, another troubleshoot that I wanna um, show you because um, I received a letter too. I went in to check if my password, previous password was working. It wasn't working. Then I looked for my email and there was no email. I checked on my junk email and it wasn't there. And it was in, 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 in the top of my emails in here. I'm gonna show you. I have here social and promotions. My email was on the promotion section. That's where I found it. So, and maybe you don't have this section uh, if you don't have a Gmail, so it might be in your junk email. Do this because um, the lines are busy with these questions. So um, I suggest you to uh, wait application and they're telling you to wait 48 hours. Just wait for your password. Now in order to continue with the second part of the application is the uploading part. And for the uploading part, all you have to do is check your email. You're going to receive a letter with your password. Then you're going to click above. And you're gonna, and it's gonna give you the option to reset your password. Once you reset your password, you're gonna see all these documents that need to be allowed in red. You click on each one, then you click on this purple where it says um, browse. Once you find your document in your computer or in your phone, you click on it. It's gonna ask you for a password, so you use the password that you use to log in, and then you upload it. Then you move again the um, browser to the next item, which will be government ID. And then you click on it. And then you click the purple password upload. Next, you do the same for the documents of your license or your um, for your taxes. You click on um, the purple, click your password, and then you upload. 
so every time you upload it's going to show like uh, it was submitted and complete and it will um, show down here the documents that you submitted so it's very simple just take your time to do each one and make sure it shows complete with the gray letters and then you are done now you don't need to put bank information and some of the tips coming from the industry and tip number one is if you have edits that need to make to your application that have previously been submitted you can email to reliefgrant at lendestream.com with the subject that finish application edit request so you could send them an email just writing finish application edit request this list the items that need to be updated and confirmation email will be sent so tip number two when you complete the application the submit button will not allow you to move forward unless every field on the application is complete so know that first you have to complete everything everything check double check your answers and then you submit complete and like i mentioned in my previous step by step check everything because if you make a mistake it will take a lot of effort from your side to make corrections that's why i emphasize so much to please please watch my video completely with all the details so you will not get stuck in the middle or have any, any issues so please um, check the video watch completely with all the details then you could go and submit your application because more important than submitting fast is to submit it right i mentioned before that if you make any mistake corrections are going to give you a lot of more effort to correct them okay so submit because once you submit that you can change it so now they're giving you the opportunity to change but you have to go through the email tip number three the portal of the application performed best in, in, in google chrome um, many uh, might have been trouble uploading documents or opening portals uh, maybe you're in safari or another kind of internet it doesn't say that it doesn't work it may work but if you're having difficulty uploading it's it, that's the reason this because um it's better to use google chrome before you login in please clear the history check your browse and make sure that this window is private before you you do that these are some troubleshooters because right now they're receiving a lot of calls and if you call um they're gonna have you waiting for a long time um or they might take a long time returning your call so try to try to do this first before you making the call tip number four please use the following resources to assist you with the application and i'm gonna put these links which we already know the home page the other suggestion is to please use the following resources to assist you with the application process and it has the the main page which is uh, the california relief and my videos were based on this web page because it has all the information that you need. And one of the reasons that I suggest you to, uh, to see my first video, because I go one by one. And then um, my other video is about um, every, you know, filling the application step by step. They also have um, here videos, and I'm gonna link them below any questions that you want to see more i will link these videos that are on demand on videos on demand check them out as well like i say information i'm sharing is based on what i feel at the application i don't work for any of these companies i'm not um, any accountant or any um, business advisor all the information i providing is based on the web the official website um california relief grant program ca relief grant.com so you could check it out for yourself check on, and it will open um all the information in the bottom that i'm mentioning you i'm gonna also copy paste that in the first comment so it will be easier for you to find it so if you have any other questions please uh, comment in the link below I have answered some of your questions and also release you from some of the stress that many of you may be encountered. Just remember that it's very important for us not to stress out uh, with this application. They're trying to make it simple 
um, and check the emails, watch the whole video, and updating information in my channel. So don't forget to come back and check it out for more information. Don't forget to support my channel by subscribing or watching my whole video or just play them. So I wish you the best in getting this grant to help your business. Bye.